so morning guys how are you all doing so it's Friday um, and tomorrow I'm going down to do the maintenance course um, which is a free course in Liverpool so I'm off to go and do that tomorrow afternoon so I'm really excited about it but I'm also really scared so I would just show you um, me preparing for it I get scared of everything you know that but I do it in the end so I'm scared of going on the road into town because I haven't done that yet and I know it's going to be busy in places because it is in the afternoon so it's Saturday it's going to be busy now I have planned um, a route down to the place and I'm going to show you how I've planned it so I'm just about to turn my phone around and I'm going to show you maps on my tablet and I'm going to show you uh, the way I've planned my route so guys here we are on my laptop I'll just get maps up um, so I'm just trying to find the centre of town that I want to go to so somewhere around here but there's also the train station that I want to go to Liverpool Lime Street which I always lose so that's there right okay so basically um, I've got two sets of um, markers to get me to two sets of places so the green ones take me down to um, the train station and the yellow star dots take me to the bike maintenance location okay so I had to mess about with my mat maps a bit um, I've homed into an area of greens that I want to follow so I've come down a park from over from over there somewhere and um, starting so I've got down to this street which is called Gell Street so I followed the map to there you can see the green marker there hopefully can you see the green marker there's the green marker oh homed in I've got to the green marker and basically I'm going to cross to this green marker now this road takes me down to this dead end bit here and then there's the this cycle path that cuts me across and across and across to there when I get to there I've got to get to there um, but I know that this is a very very busy road so basically what I'm going to do is either get on the pavement and just cycle to that bit or cross at the crossing and just walk down onto this road basically then I am going to go from there and I'm going to go down here I'm going to go up there and I'm going to then go along here and I'm going to go down where am I going to go down oh I'm going to go right along to here and I'm going to go down here get onto this bit of London Road which is one way but it's um, it's a cycle path bit at the end here so the only people around here are people who are working or parked up so that's not going to be an issue down to here then when I get down to here I've then got to get across to that bit there to this bit cross this bit here and get onto this side of the road so I can get onto this little bicycle bit here and then I'm going to bike down there and um, the, the liner that always reminds me that's close to the station so I'm going to bike down there going to go down this road here and then just here is Lime Street Station the back entrance to it so that's how I'll get to it there's this park here and I basically I'll come to here and then I'll cut across this cycle path to this bit then I'll cycle across to here and then I will cycle across and keep following my yellows so yeah it's really good and there's lots of little cycle paths if you you know get get your maps up on a big tablet you can see all the little cycle paths and you can use them to cut across and also you know how to um, no doubt know how to look at a street so like if you wanted to see what that street was like uh, can I do it on this yeah here we are so if I wanted to see what this street was like that I wanted to cycle down I just get it up and it, I can see it's a quiet street and I can move along it this is Google Maps so a really good way to see how busy that street is and whether it's one you want to go down so I've just shown you maps and how to get um, how to follow maps using cycle paths and parks and small roads and all of that um, and I I said on there that I'm really scared um, did I say I'm scared or nervous anyway 
if you want an explanation as to why that is, is yeah, I have been cycling for three years on my little bike, but this is a big bike, um, and it's it's a different um, kettle of fish to drive on, to drive on the road, to cycle on the road. Um, you know, you've got so much that you're up against the drivers; they don't like you. I've seen a lot of videos with this. So cycling on the road does make me quite nervous. Not on the small roads. I've been on the small roads around here and they're fine. It's the busy ones. Um, they are quite scary. And I've tried to watch, you know, the big cycle companies on their GCN. Um, see how these cyclists do waiting at the traffic light and pedalling off at the traffic light. Obviously being um, observant but not worrying too much about the um, driver who's trying to make your life difficult, they just get on with it. And so we put on some cycling clothes and went on a fact-finding trip around London's glittering West End. Come on, Jeremy! I'm behind you! Sounds my bell for pedestrians. Look at him, he's wearing normal clothing, the lunatic. You'll be killed! You're You'll mad. never make it! Whoa. I nearly hit that bloke in the face. Our mission was to identify the dangers that cyclists face on the city streets. And soon, we spotted one. James, we've got to go right. Right. There's a lot of peril involved in that. Right. Right. Be careful, James. There's great peril. So, we came up with a solution. What if we only went left? It's not a bad idea, actually. You can still get where you want to go by going left. To go left here? Yes? Yeah. There's another little left here we can do. Excellent. Well, I feel perfectly safe. Well, I've been completely safe. No right turns. That's the main thing, the cycling. I reckon it improves your chances of survival by about 85%. Definitely. Well, hang on. That's No, I'm not sure that's worked. I've seen Charles Sarchi having lunch five times already. So that's something I have to learn. Um, so this is why I'm, I'm nervous about this, but we'll see how tomorrow goes and I will update you. So first of all, let me show you my dry bag. It's called a dry bag. I think they're called dry bags anyway. So this is, um, it's not the very biggest. It's the next one size down. So I've loaded it up for tomorrow. And this is what I'm taking down to my bike maintenance course. Okay, so this is the pump. That is the extras that go with the pump. So that's going down. This is the electric pump. Yeah, haven't even charged it yet. I've put it in the bag and um, it's going down with me in case I need to use it for some reason. It's just emergency, you know? It's not a, because it's going to go in my dry bag, it's going to go on the bike. So I'm, it's not something I have to carry personally. So that should be good. That's a little lock in case I need to put it against something and lock it. That's my phone carrier for the front of the bike. That's my, whatchamacallit, you know, Allen keys thingies. <laughs> I forget these words. <laughs> uh, repair kit. This spare tube. Oh, Presta. That's the word I wanted, Presta. A cloth. And um, one, I can't find the other one, um, trouser holder, you know, for your ankles. Stop it flapping around. Because I think I'm wearing jeans down there. Okay, so that's me bag for um, tomorrow.